Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting off the vlog with a little cleanup session. I recently finished my undergrad thesis, so things in my room have been piling up on this table because I was focusing all my energy on that. I finally found the time to put things away and tidy up a little bit. As always, we're starting by setting up my little table. I also got myself a new handheld steamer from Shopee. You basically just fill it up with water, plug it in, and it steams your clothes or any fabric so it's nice and wrinkle free. It does get pretty hot so I'm really happy they included this free glove. Don't forget to protect your hands. This is only my second time trying it out, but I've been liking it so far. Here's me trying it out. It gets the creases out relatively well, and it's way more portable and convenient to use as opposed to ironing. I think I'd be able to use this if I traveled as well. I thought today would be a good day to decorate my iPad. I did a horrible job placing the screen protector. <laughs> I mean, look at all those bubbles. But let's make sure it's clean first. I've had these sticker sheets lying around for a while and never got around to using them. They've been sitting around for so long that I forgot where I got them from. But I did think they were cute enough to use for my iPad cover, so let's put them on together. You'll see me get indecisive a lot while putting them on though. Just a warning. <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied with the placements. Now for the back. I thought it would be cute to put on my star drop stickers. Link to my Shopee store in the description. Wink wink, yes I do sell stickers that I illustrate myself. I honestly had so much trouble with this one because I couldn't tell if I placed it on evenly. Is it on even? I can't tell so here's me checking. <laughs> Okay, up next, we're packing a sticker order. I try my best to use minimal eco-friendly packaging for my shop. Fun fact, my very first internship back in third year college was for an eco-friendly, sustainable-based startup. I was a multimedia intern, so I made graphics for their social media pages. So yeah, I try my best to reduce plastic whenever I can. Today's package contains Stardrop and Junimo stickers. 
I also try my best to include chicken stickers as freebies when I remember to. I personally love seeing other creators pack orders. For my shop, I just fold up a little piece of paper to make an envelope. Then I seal it with a piece of washi tape. Then, to make sure it doesn't get folded or creased, I use cardboard from a soap box to protect the stickers in transit. Then, to finish it all up, I wrap it up in a paper bag. I do this thing where I tuck the opening of the bag to the end so I don't need to tape it anymore. I'm not really sure how to explain it but here's what it looks like. Then of course, we're writing a thank you note. Up next, we're making a custom crochet order. It's a chicken pouch with the blue stardew chicken color scheme, hence the blue and purple yarn. Here was a sketch I made and color options for my customer to choose from. I also found out that my yarn came with a free stitch marker. I was very happy finding that. Let's do a center pull for this order. Now to find that end. Alright, let's start. Since this pattern is mostly just single crochets, I can turn off my brain and just go on autopilot. I usually like watching YouTube videos when patterns are repetitive like this. I personally love watching other art vlogs. This one is from Shane Barton. I really like her colorful aesthetic. I find it so pleasing to look at. And I love watching her process and how she draws stickers and illustrates. Plus, I really like the length of her videos. I can literally just turn off my brain because they're pretty long. My last craft vlog was coincidentally filmed in August as well. So it's been roughly a year since I've made one of these. I guess the month August compels me to make craft vlogs? Alexa, play August by Taylor Swift. Here's an unsped, real-time version of what my crocheting speed looks like, in case you're curious. I think I crochet pretty fast, if I do say so myself. Hey, we're almost done with our center pull ball. This is how many rows it was able to produce. Two, three, four, five, six. All in all, seven rows for that little ball. From here on out, it's just a lot of crochet. I guess this is a good time to say thank you guys so much for all the support and love. 
from my previous videos. We recently hit 12k as of now and I'm recording this and it's honestly blowing my mind. I know I don't have the most consistent upload schedule so I really appreciate that you guys still stuck around and even joined me in my live premieres. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Good morning! It's now day 2 of working on this custom order. I finished the body of the bag, so today we're going to be embroidering the face and adding on some chicken feet. We're starting off by sewing on the eye. I honestly find embroidery to be very tedious and I'd rather just crochet. But I can't give it up because of the extra details and cuteness it gives to a piece, so we gotta do it. Ta-da! The power of speeding up footage! We're done! I decided to take a break and look through Instagram. My friend was doing a makeup haul, so I replied to her story. Now let's get the pouch ready for shipping out. Here, I'm just using craft paper as packaging. Of course, we're adding some stickers as freebies as well. Then, I remembered I haven't taken pictures of the finished product yet, so I took it out and did some picture taking. We're repacking it again. That's basically it! Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this craft vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more from my channel. Until next time, bye!